This film is intended for eye surgeons for training and education purposes. Viewer discretion is strongly recommended. Hello friends. This is an old case from my library, but it's an interesting case with lots of unexpected twists and turns, so I thought I would share this case with you. A 24-year-old male patient presented with pseudophagy in the right eye in a thick PCO. He's undergone cataract surgery for developmental cataract 14 years back and his record suggests that he has had an 8 diopter IOL which is a PMMA lens implanted in his eye. His current refraction could not be done owing to a thick PCO. Since this eye was pathological myopic, I was reluctant to yak the PCO. owing to my concern about the high risk of uh, him developing retinal attachment later so i decided to perform surgical post capsule polishing uh, in pathological myopic eyes with pco this is my preferred method of dealing with pco especially in eyes which have not developed pvd so let's begin the surgery as we can see the intraocular lens is very well placed in the bag and we have a thickened fibrosed anti capsule covering the optic getting access to the posterior aspect of the eye will is going to be tricky the pmma surface is not that sticky compared to an hydrophobic acrylic lens so i'm hoping that i can dissect out some space under the anterior capsule i have just made two side port incisions i have introduced the irrigation cannula and i'm trying to separate the adhesion between the recess margin and the intraocular lens i'm using a flat iris spatula to negotiate between the capsule and the lens While performing blunt dissection, I need to be careful to avoid any undue stress on the zonules. We must be aware that we can induce zonal adhesions during these manipulations. As we can see, I could get access to the underside of the anterior capsule, and the adhesion between the capsule and the lens could be separated. Now I'm injecting OVD under the recess margin. and i can see that the ovd flows behind the eye wall confirming the fact that the adhesion between the recess margin and the pmm lens is cleared i go in with my aspiration cannula behind the lens and then begin to aspirate these elchnik pearls and also the proliferated lens fibers It does take some time to cheese out the lens material. But in just a few minutes the visual access is very clear. I thought the job was quite well done and was very happy and was hoping that the patient would be thrilled with his vision the next day little did I realize that the drama was yet to unfold the next day when we did refraction he had a residual refractive error of minus 6 diopter now uh, how do i manage this there are multiple options available including using a piggy back sulcoflex lens or laser correction but i decided to go in with I will exchange. I decided to expand this lens and implant an appropriately powered hydrophobic acrylic lens. Explanting the PMMA IOL is a challenge since I had not explanted one in the past, although I had explanted quite a lot of foldable lenses. So one week after the posterior capsule polishing, I take up the patient for IOL exchange. I begin by injecting subconjunctival lidocaine in the superior quadrant. wherein i plan to create a superior sclerocorneal tunnel incision a 
a 6 mm sclerocorneal tunnel is created. And then the antechamber is entered using a sharp keratome. Internal lip is enlarged. I am using cohesive OED to create some space within the bag. I am using two Sinsky hooks to check for the mobility of the intraocular lens by gently rotating it. And I was pleasantly surprised that freeing the lens from its attachment with the bag was not difficult at all. I gently dialed one haptic out of the bag, refilled it with OED, then using a forceps, the entire lens was explanted out. The new appropriately powered hydrophobic acrylic lens is implanted into the bag. To counter the against the roller stigmatism, I'm placing a single tenor nylon suture. OVD both in front and behind the lens is aspirated out. And then the conjunctiva is closed using a vicryl. Post IR exchange, this was a residual refractive error. And needless to say, the patient was quite happy with the outcome now. Thank you for watching and hope this helps.